Hello everybody, and uh, we're here right now in this video to talk about the syllabus for Spanish, okay? You, you may be watching this video and you are in sixth grade exploratory Spanish or you are in um, tenth grade and you're in Spanish too at Holston High School. But uh, we want to talk about the same kind of things for now. So um, <clears throat> I'll put this in pre present, uh, presentation mode, but on Schoology, you have a link to this video and you also have in your interactive notebook um, in this first section, the syllabus for your class. Okay, so let's talk about it for a second. Why are we here to acquire, for most of us, a second language, Spanish, right? So how are we going to do that? Again, with comprehensible input not to uh, learn a bunch of grammar, um, not to use a textbook, right? Did I send one of these home with you guys? No, right? I didn't send anything home with you guys textbook-wise because we're going to do it in a conversational way. So that's the goal. And um, you're going to learn new things every week and repeat them a lot, okay? So um, we'll keep it simple. We'll keep it about things that we understand uh, ourselves or what we like at first. And then we'll just keep on repeating those conversations until they stick, until we feel like we have a grasp on them. Um, so what do I, Senor Reed, expect of you, the student, right? I want you to speak Spanish whenever possible. And, you know, like I said before, as we're keeping things simple and making it about what we know or about what, um, uh, what we like, things that relate to us, that shouldn't be a problem uh, for us to be able to talk. Um, almost right away and uh, always be respectful. Hey, we're not together, but you might have an opportunity to talk to someone or about someone in Spanish class. And I know that I know you all, and I know you're going to be respectful in that manner. Um, you don't come to class, but you'll be prepared and you'll have uh, your assignments turned in on time. Um, so that uh, this bullet point right here about checking in and completing assignments on time, those are going to be, uh, they're going to work together for the first week. So Holston High School uh, would like everyone to answer a question of the day uh, in order to show that they're uh, attending school for that day. So really checking in online uh, and attending are going to be the same for a while, right? Um, also uh, completing all assignments at Holston High School, they want that to be done by Friday at three. Um, so you're getting those things done and you're turning them in uh, by the end of the week. However, I would recommend that you do the assignment every time the teacher asks for it at the time they ask for it. So, for instance, uh, if it's Monday when you're watching this, uh, this is your assignment, right? So you're just going to go and sign in on a spreadsheet and say, I watched the video or I read the syllabus and I understand that I agree to it. Um, <clears throat> so... You want to do that as you get it, but definitely have to finish it by the end of the week. All right. And I, I said before, we're going to be using very simple phrases and things like that. So really Google Translate or I recommend Spanish Dict, D-I-C-T dot com or, or the app. Um, there's really not going to be a lot of need for you to go and put whole assignments on there or your answer to an assignment on there because we will have just used very simple language uh, repetition um, going slowly with what we're learning. So you won't really need to use Google Translate. I hope that uh, you may say, I don't know, man. I don't know Spanish, Mr. Reed. You are uh, you don't know how little Spanish I know. Well, I know that even if you're a very beginner, um, you'll be able to keep up with what we're going to do uh, with comprehensible input, something I really like about it. Always participate, right? Don't leave it to that... Uh, don't leave it to that one gal that always raises her hand, right? Uh, or that one guy that knows everything. Uh, you know everything. You guys are very smart. And um, you're going to be asked to do things that you do know how to do and that you can do. So I ask everyone to just go for it, baby. YOLO. YOLO online, as they say. No, they don't say that, but they should. All right. Uh, let's see. You got to be here again. Uh by submitting your work, by clicking in, by checking in, putting uh, your name down where it's supposed to be or your answer down where it's supposed to be. You don't have a textbook, right? Miss um, so-and-so or Mr. So-and-so, maybe they gave you a textbook for their class while you're at home. This digital interactive notebook, which hopefully you've been able to open, 
uh, through the link on Schoology, this is your textbook and you're the one writing it, you know, with the, uh, with the comprehensible input as it comes into you. And so you have it to look back at as a reference. If you want to have a conversation in Spanish, maybe in this interactive notebook is the key to whatever you want to say, wherever you are uh, in a lot of situations, more than you would think. So this is your textbook. And the grading scheme, again, involves you got to write, read, listen. I don't know if you can listen in Spanish, but you can write, read, uh, and speak uh, in Spanish. Uh, as much as possible, but you have to keep up with your assignments and your work habits, you know, like um, um, that that's some sort of intangible thing. But if you're working hard, you should know that you're doing well in the class because uh, you'll get your own results from that. And I'll respond. Well, all right. Let's see. How do you contact old man, Senor Reed? Of course, email. Um, you can message, send a message to the teacher uh, on Schoology. You can call this uh, the school, but you can also call this Google voice number anytime, uh, day or night, and I will do my best to get right back to you and help you with whatever I can. Maybe you need help with Spanish. Maybe you need help with technology. Maybe you're not sure how much Kool-Aid powder to sugar to water, what the right ratio is. I can help you. All right, um, so we're here, uh, the teachers are here every day except for Wednesdays, but even on Wednesdays, you can always holler at me. There's some general hours, but like I said, anytime we'll get back to you. All right, uh, this part about me being an HHS and DMS has less, means less now until we go back to school in person, but um, just always holler at me and just say, Mr. Reed, uh, I really liked that lesson about llamas or Mr. Reed. I don't understand. How do you say that word or whatever it is you need? Just parents too. Don't hesitate to holler uh, at, at an old man, right? All right. Uh, oh, accents. So some of you guys who have had Spanish class in the past can explain this to your parents, but an accent or an uh, itilde like over here, over uh, the letter uh, ñ, right? It's going to make a difference. If you say, hey, tengo 16 años, tengo 16 años, you're saying I'm 16 years old. But if you don't say años and you say tengo 16 años, you've said something, <laughs> said something very interesting probably, but not appropriate. Um, and not tell you didn't tell me you were 16 years old. Uh, so ask your student about that, parents. But um, what I do is I take... Um, I take a piece of paper and I printed this out and you can just Google how to add accents in Spanish or something. And I just taped it to my laptop like that, but you can just put it beside where your workspace is or have a pocket copy of it. <clears throat> and just, it's basically just holding all and some numbers and then boom, you've got the, you don't have to have a full fledged Spanish keyboard. You just uh, have the key shortcuts. So, I look forward to seeing you guys putting those in play. All right. We don't want to give too much away, so I won't uh, show you that part. But everyone get a look at this syllabus. You've gotten this far in the video. Go and sign the first assignment sheet that says that you're aware of the syllabus and that we're ready to rock. Okay. All right, Classy. Uh, hasta pronto.